Hello, this is State Representative Tom Morrison here in my district office for our latest edition of the Morrison Report. We just finished up uh, a wonderful Independence Day weekend. I really enjoyed walking in the Palatine and Rolling Meadows parades and seeing a lot of you. And I really appreciate the, the supportive comments. Um, we, the most substantial thing that we did um, right before those parades was uh, meeting in Springfield. We had two days of session. And right before the fiscal year uh, 2016 came to a close, we voted on a stopgap budget. And essentially what that did is it funded K-12 education. It mostly funded higher education, uh, provided um, you know, millions of dollars to social service agencies, to some vendors of um, you know, a variety of other things that were held up because of the budget impasse. I was one of the four representatives who voted no, uh, not because everything in that budget was uh, uh, not effective or, or not worthy, but because we continued to, stay, to spend more as a state than we're taking in. And before I hit that no button, um, I was thinking of the words of uh, one of my colleagues, uh, one of my friends, Representative Jeannie Ives, who said, if you vote for this budget, you will have to vote for a tax increase after the election. And uh, one of my other colleagues, uh, Representative Harris, said, we will have acted, but we have not acted responsibly. And again, that's why I voted no. Um, I think I can defend that vote because I don't think that we should be raising taxes. I think that the government is big enough as it is. Um, there are things that need to be cut out of that budget. There may be even some worthwhile things that may need to be cut out of that budget just because we have to remain um, attractive to this state. I, too many people tell me that they want to move out of Illinois. And too many people tell me that they're having a hard time selling their house because of property taxes, uh, the lack of jobs in this state. And unless we make this state more attractive, it will be a continual spiral down. It will be harder and harder for those of us who do want to stay, who do want to restore Illinois to a, a prominent place where you can raise a family affordably, where you can uh, work in a business, where you can open a business, where you can retire. Um, that's sort of our vision. Uh, that's why I voted no. And uh, I'm, I think that I am representing this district uh, with that vote. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day.